I wish you said that. No, just smile. So you've been it for one day, but now I'm smiling. They all, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, here's your thing. Hurry up! Why is that? Hurry up, bro. I'm not, I'm not Laura. Come to listen to me quickly. It's so, it's not easy to see anyone. Is that, is that your man to be quiet? He's an Australian buddy, isn't he? You'll see him back from Australia. I think Ron's like not being honest with himself and stuff. Ron! Right. 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 We're still seeing him flirt. But that's what we need, then. No, it's true. Yeah. I think it's been quite slimy. Mm -hmm. wow. What do you think of Casey? I love him to bits. Yeah. I love him to, I think his intentions are genuine. Oh genuinely. my god! I won't. Honestly, I won't have a lot of shit. I'm not it. Uh -huh. Why do you think, man? Look, what are you saying? We like him, he's smart. It's, yours, it's nobody else's. We got, has she been talking about him? We're so back? dumb. Has Sammy, he wants Sammy. So if Roy's out the pit. Recently, I've got the end of We talked <laughs> about this. We all knew Kyle was going. <laughs> Kyle was staying. Kyle was staying. I'm saying. I'm, saying. Just... I'm done with this season. I don't know who's who. Absolutely be fucking carnage in here tonight. I'm not kidding. Oh my god, so carnage! Shut, shut, shut up! No, but she will be. I've got a text! Oh. Why, are they, why are they about 10 shots? Because they thought she was too good. Huh? Why would it end here? Just let the time you're on What was that? Why did it end Tomorrow I'm going to do one person. Do you make it in That makes no sense. They really don't like Talia. No more rents in there. I don't know why all these girls are coming for Tanya, but it really is irritating me because this is what's not going to happen. This is what's not going to run. We are not going to allow this to continue to happen in fruition. We are not going to let this take place. But the fact that all of these girls, Ellie's talking about carnage. Beloved, what carnage are you doing? Because we, we, we really need to figure this out. What carnage are you going to bring? It's very untre untre It's very unfair and I'm not here for it. Hey guys, that's Morad Morad. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. And let's get straight into this video. Now we all know that Kai was being dumped. I feel like this cliffhanger, I despise cliffhangers when it is predictable, when we know what's going to happen. It's not something that we need to look forward to because we understand what the next situations are going to be. And for Kai to be saved, I feel like was predictable because Olivia holds a lot of power and influence in that villa and of course, She's getting the main favorite producer edit, in my opinion, and they are definitely favoring her because it's just frustrating that, you know, certain contestants have been dumped from the show and, you know, Olivia is allowed to pick and choose from whatever she wants. I was upset that Spencer left. I felt like he, him and Tanya would have been nice to see them go through. Aaron can comfortably go back with the kangaroos because I feel like that's just where you need to go. I never understood why he even came through. For somebody of an all-star Australian cast to come and have zero impact is very questionable to me. I felt like he should have definitely tried a bit more harder, but nobody was feeding him. Um... It is what it is. But Kai staying, yeah. I'm really much over this Lana and Ron situation. I don't know about you guys, but I'm over it. It's tiring. It's giving, like, like I'm not really... Like, I'm just over it. I'm really tired about the situation. Nothing's really going on. I'm glad that she picked Casey, but I also have a strong feeling that Lana is going to go back to Ron. You know, Casa Amor's coming up in a week or so, so we know something like that is going to happen anyways. So I'm not really fussed about this whole triangle because it's predictable to me and I don't think Casey stands a chance and I think that in Casamo will happen he probably won't be repicked and something like that is going to go down the drain now Tommy Tom 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 for him to be telling Lana about the fact that Casey's more loyal he was only doing that so that he can get Sammy to himself number one number two he's being messy boots which I'm not mad at you know from a entertainment perspective but it definitely helped cement Lana's you know choice had she not heard from Tom I think she probably would have gone for Ron but I think it is a slap in the face for Ron to really understand that you know Lana is not with you right now and now he's going to really have to graft for somebody otherwise he's going to be in a vulnerable position but I do think he's going to be saved for Casa Amor and for the movie night because I feel like he's getting a good edit in terms of being shown constantly and you know you'd want that screen time and it definitely does favor you in the future and I feel like Ron will be here regardless like I don't see him being dumped anytime soon but I'm very much tired of that what I'm also tired of is Olivia 
talking around saying that she's not talking about hiding Tanya's back when she's done it multiple times and she said that she hasn't and of course when Tanya addressed it which I'm glad that she did trying to you know put it in the bag and get it over and done with Olivia did, didn't really say anything Olivia initially to me came across as somebody who would be confrontational but she's not confrontational she does things behind people's backs and likes to stir things up now granted it's good for entertainment but in terms of her being a friend to Tanyelle I don't think that she's a friend to Tanyelle I don't think that she is being genuine I don't think she cares for her at all I'm glad that Sammy is there there are a few things that Sammy does didn't really like her as much when she came on because I didn't really know much of her, but she throws these nuggets around where she gets storylines going, which is number one, very good. But number two, she says the right things to the right people. She keeps everybody in the villa clued up when those you know, same people like Tanyelle are being isolated. So I'm glad that she does that because we need somebody on Tanyelle's side because at this point, it's giving gang up. At this point, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they're all upset with her. Tanyelle is allowed to have a chance in the villa with people. Olivia has had several chances. So clearly it's weird. What is also weird is that they put a cliffhanger. They didn't even show who Tanyelle was gonna pick. They have never done that at a dumping or recoupling. Oh, a dumping, yes, and a recoupling where they're going to leave somebody where we know who they're going to pick because that's the only person standing there. So very confused as to why that took place. And, you know, I just find it upsetting that they're kind of picking on her. Ellie talking about if she picks um, Tom, um, Jordan, sorry, it's going to be carnage. Things are going to go off in the night. Like, what, what are you going to do? I really don't. Like, I just feel like I don't know what she's going to do. Don't think Tanya would even really have it. And I just feel for Tanya because I feel like some of the girls in this villa are not liking her and are kind of grouping up against her. There seems to be some kind of a divide. Tanya is a strong girl and she would definitely be able to hold her own easily with anybody in the villa because she's very direct and can defend herself. But it doesn't mean that she needs to. And I find it to be very unfair that she is being put in that position. And I do feel sorry for her because I feel like, dare I say it, she's getting the whole... Danica, Ekansu kind of treatment to an extent, a bit of a mixture of both of these where, you know, either she gets continuously rejected or continuously isolated. It's one of the two because she's seen to be some kind of a threat or her presence is intimidating the other girls. And I think that is exactly what is happening here. Tanya and Shaq are doing great together. Oh geez, I definitely need to see these two in the finale. I really want to like Will and Jesse, but Jesse just comes across as rehearsed to me. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, does she know Will well? Or does she know the game well? She knows the game well. And I feel like that to me, when you're coming in second time, I just feel like I, it takes, it'll be difficult for me to see your intentions with what you're doing in the villa. And I feel like, you know, Will her head turn in Casa Amor? No, it won't. Because she knows that Will's head won't turn. Or she knows that if Will's head does turn, it will still benefit her. Because she'll be seen as the, you know, Casa Amor victim. So either way, it's a win-win for her if she just stays loyal to Will throughout. And, you know, if girls show Will attention, he might be buzzing his head around in Casa Amor. But Jesse should, and I think will, re re you know, remain loyal. Not because of her love or likeness or strength for her relationship with Will, but because she's played this game before. This is why I'm not really here for Islanders coming back into the show. It's one thing with Islanders who are coming into the 9th, 10th, 11th season, they've seen pre-seasons, but they've never actually been inside the villa, so their changes will be different in terms of what they think they're gonna do. However, Islanders who've been there before, played the game, seeing who's liked this, like, it's harder for me to see what you're trying to do in there. So, you know, it's just gonna be interesting because more time is just for an investment for your socials as opposed to you actually finding love. Jesse could be genuine, but right now I'm just not buying it. Like, I just don't know why. And that's just my honest, and I don't know if you guys agree or disagree with me, but whatever it is, child, what you like, you need to agree with me is the way that they are treating Tanyelle is not, is, I'm, I'm not here for it. When it comes to these girls, like, especially when that specific scene, when it comes to Ellie and Olivia and Jesse, and they were all prying over, and you know, they were really like, what is she doing? We're gonna rain carnage. Is she not allowed to talk to other boys? Is she not allowed to continue on her journey? Is that not what you're meant to do in the villa? She's barely had any chances. And I feel like, you know, Olivia has had multiple, and suddenly Olivia, and suddenly Tanyelle's at fault. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. It's giving gang up. It's giving year nine behavior. And I'm just not here for it. But don't worry, because when it comes to Tanyelle, she will excel. Do you understand? It doesn't matter if it's today or tomorrow. I feel like she will continue on into this situation, into the show. I don't want to see her getting dumped early on soon. And good things will come to those who wait or those who struggled. And of course, you know, they got really upset with her with the comments she made about Spencer, but she barely knew the guy. It's not as if they were together from day one. Like, she wants somebody to be with. Like, you know. I, like, I don't understand. She's trying. Could, didn't happen with Ron. Didn't happen with Kai. Didn't happen with Spencer. Like, you know, um, 
I don't know why Olivia's acting like she's the only girl who's actually had some kind of option. Like, what, you, what is she meant to do? I don't know. I don't like it when it's a gang up on somebody. I don't like it when it's a gang up. And that's what I'm seeing when it comes to the girls against Tanya. But as I said, it don't matter because when it comes to Tanya, she will excel in this competition. She will do fine because I'm not here for the gang up in and I find it to be very frustrating. She barely even knew Spencer for a couple of days. Of course she wants to couple up with somebody else. I don't even see her comments were wrong. It's not like she was with him from day one and is now completely over him. Like, it's not like that. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this video. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button daily and consistent content. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video because we got to get into the Love Island After Sun as well.